Today I'll be making you a transition, an RGB shake transition. So let's get into it. Whoops. Fix myself up. Perfect. Okay, let's begin. So we have our two clips aligned. We're going to add motion tile to both. So motion tile. Make the output width and height both 150 and enable to mirror the edges. Control C, Control V to paste into the other clip. Okay, next we're going to make our transition. So click New, right click, New Null Object. Then split this Null Object so that each clip can have its own. Parent these two layers. Perfect. So let's make the scale transition. Hit S on your keyboard. Um, move 10 frames back by clicking Shift and Page Up. Then set the keyframe to 25. The last keyframe to 25. Move to the graph editor. Edit the graph like so. Copy and paste that keyframes to the other clip. Then time reverse these keyframes. Time reverse. Move them a frame back. Do the same to this. Move it a frame back. Perfect. Let's see how it looks like. That's nice. Next, we're going to add an adjustment layer. New adjustment layer. Move to the center of the clip, then move six frames back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Control Shift D to delete. Cut it out. Then delete it. Add the effect twitch. And set the amount to 60. The speed to 25. Add a keyframe to amount. Hit U to view the keyframe. Move to the end of the adjustment layer and set it to U. Move to the graph editor and edit the graph like so. This is how it is. Nothing much happens. Nothing happens actually. So go to enable and enable the slide then go to operator control slide change the slide to 80 let it be a bit more vigorous slide spread to zero to make it look more like a y shape motion blur to maybe 40 45 we'll go with 40 or uh, let me take 45 let's see that's what we have. After that, we move to the next clip and add another adjustment layer. So new adjustment layer. Take all the way up. Move six frames back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to start. Copy and paste the twitch. Control C. Control V. Remove these keyframes, let the 60 be at the beginning of the clip and uh, set it to 0 at the beginning of the adjustment layer. Move this other 0 mark all the way to the end. And go to the graph editor and edit your graph. Take this down, take this down and remember pull this one all the way. Let's see how it looks. And I'm fixing it a bit. Put it down. Then to make it look even better, I want to come in and fix and change some values here. The RGB split be specific. I'm going to make it at around. Let's try with 
14. Not enough, I don't know, maybe 15. That's good. Okay, as it is right now, it doesn't look so bad. But you can make a zoom transition look even better by adding optics compensation. So we're going to add, uh, we're going to add an adjustment layer and split it. Control Shift D. Move it just above the null object. Sorry, sorry, I moved the wrong one. Come here. Perfect. Are you kid? Okay, go up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's supposed to be right above the twitch layer, or else when you do this object compensation, you're going to be leaving out the twitch effect. You will go below it. Then let's type in optics compensation. Perfect. Go in field of view. Let's move here first. Field of view, click new. Make sure you align keyframes to the zoom transition that we had let the last keyframe be 130 and then remember to click reverse lens distortion go to the graph editor and edit your graph like so Put it like this don't make it too much or else it won't be noticeable then control C and uh, come here and paste this control V to you okay, from assistant time reverse remember to click reverse lens distortion then align these keyframes to the transition click keyframes let's see how it looks like I think I should just move them back. Yes, I don't like you don't really see the effect as it is right now. Move it out. So let's move it back. Okay. Let's see how it looks like now. Nice. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about it. You can also suggest what type of tutorial you want next. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video.